Hey guys, it's jc 4 and we're back with Paper Mario yet again! And now, we get to explore Bowsar's castle. Except actually before I explode Bowsar's castle, I hit pause, Jack, as I'd appreciate it if you paused. I want to go ahead and just adjust all my badges. So by doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take everything off just for the hell of it, and then put everything back on. So multi pounds will probably need. Power bounce is a yes. Power smash is a definite. Um, I I did it beforehand, so I know I'm going to have enough for power quake. You down pound, double dip, dodge master, happy heart. Uh, pretty lucky. Spike shield, flower finder. I think yeah, that's what it says. Flower finder, and then these two, which gives us four left. So chill out will work, and then it won't go back up. I have to scroll up myself. And what else can we put on? We I mean, could put spin smash back on. We'll put shrink stomp back on as well. The only thing about Spin Smash is the idea that a lot of these enemies in here have a huge defense guard on them. So I'm not going to do that. So instead I'm just going to put on Close Call. Don't get me wrong, I love the hell out of Spin Smash. It's a fun badge to use and it's just satisfying to watch them fly about. But it's not going to be serving us much use here. The thing we're probably going to be using most is going to be D-Down Pound more than likely. Oh, well, that was cool. And I have Chill Out on there, I believe I should. So, yeah, we also want to switch out to Watt as well. I mean, I could go after that guy back there, but I mean, it, he's not going to die anyway, so we can just carry on. Um, one thing I am a little bit curious about, though, is the idea that, like, literally, there's about two enemies total. <laughs> I mean, to my knowledge, like, it, if I didn't know any better, I'd say there's, like, two types of enemies inside this entire castle. So, we're probably going to, like after a while be cutting a lot I mean I want to go ahead and fight him just so I can oh you know milk the experience for what it's worth that's why I don't want to put bump attack on is because I want to be as prepared for the final boss as I can be but I mean yeah you give me that key thank you oh and there's toads in prison but who cares about them I'm Mario anyway um, I want to make a slight complaint, just because it's annoying to me. Um, because this is a Virtual Console version. And one thing I don't like about Virtual Console games is when you, like, turn it on, sweet, they leave the Wiimote on. And, like, I'm using a GameCube controller, so listen to these L and R buttons. Like, that's loud as shit, so I'm not lying. <laughs> that wasn't really necessary for me to do. Um... Which means that anytime I start up a virtual console game, the Wiimote stays turned on. Unless I turn it off, like, by pulling out the batteries and then closing it again and not touching the Wii Remote at all. Which is pretty damn annoying, to be honest. But, yeah. It, this is, like, going with what I'm saying because the batteries in my Wiimote currently are dying. And that's a grudge I'm starting to get towards batteries, is that everything that requires batteries now is like, oh, if it's not full, it's fucking useless. And it's like, well, how do you expect me to use it if you won't let me use it when it starts dying? And yeah, it's getting to that point. Like, I can't even play Rock Band because, you know, I start missing notes because the batteries aren't charged enough. I can't put them in an external flash and use it for my photo stuff because they're not charged enough. And that's annoying to me as of recent. And it's becoming a thing. And you can't even play certain games like No More Heroes with low batteries because it'll just be like, oh hey jackass, replace your batteries. Not everyone has rechargeables, you know. You can be you can be nice. I'm trying to get the batteries to die, so I'm not even gonna unplug them, but I imagine that it's gonna just put itself to sleep, which is weird because it's never done it any other time before. Oh boy. Yeah, but no, as you can plainly see, there's like a bunch of these Koo Patrol guys. So that's what I mean when I say they have like two enemies at most. This is the other one. The Hammer Bros. Like that's all that this dungeon is pretty much filled with is Hammer Bros and Koo Patrols. So it's kind of crappy, but you go with what you're given. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Hammer Brothers are, as you can see, harder to deal with. Ouch. And stronger. 
Um, we can go ahead and power quake just so we can do damage to both of them. It's a bit of a waste of a uh, FP though, but what do I care? I'm rich. And they give out more. Well, of course they give out more. It's because they're harder, stupid. That was really, really painful, and I had, like, I mashed the A button like no one's business. I didn't dodge anything. Or, well, not dodge, but, like, protect myself. I mean, that's another thing, is, like, as I've... Ugh, I don't want to talk about it. I mean, I should, since I brought it up, but, um... Regarding Thousand Year Door and all that, like, I'm trying to get myself to be able to do the whole Super Guard command. And as I, like started it up for the whole playtest and all that, I looked at it and it was like, they blatantly tell you this, so I must have like skimped over it or something, because I don't know how the hell I missed it. Welcome, worm. I'm called the guard door of Bowser's Castle. It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. You must be Mario. Let me guess. Do you want to get through here? You want to get to the other side of this wall? Well, sure. Okay, then. Stand in front of me. All right. Are you standing squarely in front of me? I don't know. Okay, then I'll let you go through. You fell for it. You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison. Try all you like. All you'll do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what. If you make it back up here, I'll let you go through. How's that? I know you'll never make it. Hope you have a good time shaking and crying down there. Okay, well, thank you. Um, I don't like those things over there because it looks like you can jump to them, but I've tried and I've tried and... Yeah, so especially when they put these boxes up here like that, it makes it look like that too. So that kind of throws me for a loop, but... No, they just hold things. Also, there's this wall we can blow up, so we'll do that. Um... This is going to be really heavy on partner usage, too, so I'm going to be switching around a lot. Yeah, there you go. It's a piece of cake to break these walls. It's materials weak. <sighs> these are much easier than the walls of Koopa Forest Fortress. You're really lucky to have me along, aren't you? Yeah, I suppose so. The word you're looking for is I'm Bombette, I'm pink. Tee hee hee hee. I had to think about what I was saying there because I was like, wow, I just said that. That was painful. Just thought you should know that. And they got these moving platforms. It's a long dungeon, which is something I'm not super fond of, but it's like I'm gonna try and make it work out as best I can. I remember when I was doing this, like I thought about LPing, and I was like, this is gonna be the dungeon that's gonna just be irritating for me to go through because it feels like it takes years to complete. Like, there's no warm up or anything like the other dungeons have. You're just like thrown in there, and it's like, okay, have fun. I mean, I'm only semi-complaining. Just because, like, I'm worried I'm gonna exhaust myself. <laughs> Which is dumb, so, since I usually record for... Gee, I don't know, two hours on average now. I remember when I first started recording and stuff, like, 45 minutes was the most ever. Like, doing that felt tiring. And then Majora's Mask was, um, the longest I had done in sessions because, you know, I'd go through a full cycle because you only get one save point, which is, you know, kind of annoying, but you go with what you're given. So yeah, uh, Majeure got me into like an hour and a half, and then Coliseum, I remember those having some long ones as well. I mean, not everything I do is super long, but yeah. And it doesn't help because, like, this game, you got a lot of things that can be edited out, like those fights and stuff, like the... What's it? Recording session that I just did last with Shiver City? There you go. Like, that was two hours and fifteen... Oh, fuck you. Minutes. And I can reach that. I know I can. But alright, fuck you. <laughs> and completed, it was, um... Let's put it simply, I removed about 45 minutes of footage. That was all irre irrelevant. So, there you go. I had to get it from the other side. Unfortunately, can't reach this thing at all, so... Yeah, no, I tried. And it doesn't get easier from the other side, either. They, like, closed it off, and this threw me for a loop. Nope, can't do it. I tried to turn back. I didn't see that platform the first time, so I... 
I was sitting around going, dude, what? How do I go through this? And then... Yeah, no, that's kind of a moving platform that exists. Also, in regards to length, this, like, I'm... I know it's different because usually how I do parts, like, is changed over the years and all that. But, like, this, as far as file sizes, is probably one of the biggest LPs I've done since... I want to say it's probably just the second biggest in general. Like, the biggest I did was Majura, which was, I think, either 12 or 14 gigs. And this is, like, pushing 10. Like, it'll probably be 10 or 11 by the time I'm done. And I don't think I have anything between that and Banjo-Tooie. The original, which is 9.67, so... Yes, I remember that specific number. <laughs> Am I supposed to do in this situation? Kevin Koopa told us something, but I'm drawing to a blank. I think she told us not to let him through that switch. Oh, do you think that means we have to fight him? No! He'll wipe the floor with us! Stop your belly aching. Who says to be afraid of Mario? He's not so bad. Whatever happens, we can't let him push the switch. Aren't you aware that the King Bowser needs your help? Come on, take this plumber. Show him what you're made of. <laughs> we have no choice. Gotta be brave. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of funny. But no, like, in a realistic situation, like, it's actually kind of amazing to think that, uh, Mario is, like, as big of a threat as he is, because... Uh, stop it. Um, like, when you look at Bowser, Bowser's actually, like, he doesn't mess around. He's a pretty big enemy, and it's really kind of crazy to think Mario can do what he can do. Like, the main gimmick with Bowser is the idea that, like, he's kind of got magic going on his favor, and that's a lot of things people overlook as well. Like, oh crap. <laughs> he's got magic powers, he can turn invisible, he can, um, breathe fire, he can change his size, and all sorts of other things, and it's like, Mario is competing up against that, and it's actually kind of cool to think that he can come out on top. Alright, good. I wanted it to be something useful. Too bad that isn't that much use, but so be it. And, like, another example of a, an enemy, a boss, it's, like, a huge threat that not many people would think of would be King K. Rule. Like, King K. Rule doesn't mess around, like, at all. And Bowser's kind of the same way. It's really kind of crazy to think that they can, indeed, come out on top, and that they do. Well, that's one down. Um, we can at least... I don't know if we can. If it works, blows the enemies away from the battle. Well, I don't want to blow them away from the battle. I don't like doing that. That feels like a waste to me. Okay, it's two. So we'll take this damage. Well, that wasn't so bad. I mean... I'm not in huge health issues, so... Nor do I tend to be often. So I'm not worried too much. There we go. Also, I don't get that much experience out of these fights, too. So I'm curious how leveling up's gonna turn out in my favor. Can we go? All right, looks like it's totally cooled off and hardened. We can even walk across it now, right, man? Yeah, wait, use the old brain, that's what... You... Yeah, well, there's a switch. I didn't have to think about it. I just pushed it not knowing what the hell it would do. I mean, like, it's kind of obvious what it would do, but, like... In any other situation, it's a switch. You push the switch. Worst that can happen is, I don't know, you just blow up for no fucking reason. <laughs> What's this button do? Boom. Or, yeah, that would be... That was it. Dexter's Lab. There you go. I just unintentionally referenced that, because it didn't... That happened with Dee Dee. She'd be like, oh, what's this button do? She'd push it. And then everything would just break. That's the power of a woman's touch right there. <laughs> and then I get yelled at. I like doing that. I like messing around with stereotypes and things like that. So, like, whenever I see someone that's usually not super girly or whatever, and they're, like, cooking or cleaning, I'm like, congratulations, you're finally a fully functioning woman. I don't ever get yelled at for it, but... Yeah, no, I like doing that. Especially since my girlfriend's a tomboy, too, so... That makes it better. And then, um... Another one of my friends, like, she'd always... Bring me around to watch movies and stuff while we worked, and she always picked out, like, the girliest movies. 
And I just look at you and be like, look at you. I look at her and I'm like, you're such a girl. And she's like, shut up! And her idea of bringing a boy movie was like the longest yard. And I was like, I don't like football. <laughs> I didn't tell her that. I was thinking it. Thankfully, she didn't put it on. She put on something else. I forgot what it was. But that was kind of funny because it's like, if I had said that, she'd be like, there's just no pleasing you, is there? And it's like, oh crap, no, I'm the woman. Ah, uh, see, there you go. Another stupid stereotypical joke thing. But yeah, no, I don't know. I like the idea of playing with stereotypes like that. People need to not be so sensitive. And also, stereotypes exist because of the majority, so even if it is racist or wrong or whatever, there's truth to it. Like, eh. I I'm thinking it, but I'm not going to say it. Like, there is an example, but I know someone's just going to, like, jump on me, so... For my own sake, I don't want... To have to put up with someone else's bitching, so I'm just gonna keep it to myself. Even though I made the whole rant on like, no one hears you out, they're just gonna think what they wanna think. Which is true, by the way. Did I go through here? I don't think I did. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't think that was this room. I thought it was like that way. I thought it was in between two levels of stairs or something. 